Uh, looks like they're ready to go. I appreciate the sick mask whenever I see folks wearing it. Be you know. safe from the plague. Oh yeah, Tr trying to trying to stay healthy out here. You know. Yeah. One, th uh, two things you're trying to do is uh, you try not to drown in pools and you try not to get sick. So. Yeah. Because then you're just drowning in your bed the next week. After. <laughs> I, I speak from experience. After Dreamland, oh, I'm yeah. like, oh, I'll be fine after traveling. And I had the worst cold I ever had. And I know that doesn't sound too bad, but I was sneezing blood. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so it was actually Guys, awful. Guys, take care of yourself. Yeah. Stay woke. Bring some, uh, you know, emergency out here. Um, and you know what? Just stay healthy. But, uh, okay, we're going to be starting this first game off on Battlefield. Um, really good stage for actually both these characters, so I'm very interested to see how this goes. Yeah, Rosa being able to control platforms so well with up tilt and uh, up smash and up airs. Pikachu having so many quick attack cancel options on the stage. Large blast zones means good edge guarding is going to be very important for closing out stocks for both players. Yeah, uh, both characters very light, um, so Battlefield will help them off the top. I really feel like uh, what Riddy is going to have to do here is make sure, uh, like we were talking about before, that you end those stocks early when uh, forcing them in the disadvantaged state. Right now, Riddy is not running in uh, willy-nilly, even though DeBuzz doesn't have Luma there, right? He's showing a little bit of respect. That does let DeBuzz get his Luma back, though. But he's got a whole set to figure out how DeBuzz likes to play in this matchup without Luma. And, yeah, what we're seeing a lot here is DeBuzz just holding center stage, forcing Riddy to approach, and then pun punishing accordingly, like right there. Um, so doing a really good job of just maintaining this lead, putting on percentage, and just letting it come to, uh, letting it come to him little by little. So far... Wow, if you look at the percent, like, the neutral felt really even, but Rydia actually close to death percent right now and only 35 on DeBuzz. Uh, yeah, what we're seeing here, Rydia's getting little hits uh, in here and there. Oh! Ooh, perfect man. call out on the neutral get up, yeah. Yeah, really excellent F smash, but uh, as we're seeing here, it's just, uh, DeBuzz is leaving no damage on the table. Everything is just uh, a good solid follow-up, good solid damage, whereas Rydia's not been able to get any substantial hits here thus far. Yeah, and right now Rydia is still playing a bit passive when this is the time to start applying a bit of pressure on DeBuzz. He's not able to find the opening he's looking for, and now DeBuzz actually throws him off stage. Yeah, the, these uh, quick attack approaches, um, while they can start some good combos, are very risky, um, as we see DeBuzz punishing that one. And wow, just what we're seeing over and over, just DeBuzz holding that stage control, making Rydia pay for every, uh, every failed opportunity to uh, approach correctly. Right. Yeah, prioritizing Luma right now. Oh, but Luma manages to power through the last bit of yeah. forward air. I feel like that could have been a bit of a mistake. Uh, you know, DeBuzz being off stage, Rydia opting to go for Luma rather than trying to really force a, force a KO option here. It's it's such a scary situation to try to parse through, right? Because if Luma comes back to Rosa mid edge guard, then you're in a world of hurt because Luma's going to hit yeah. you on the way back. But maybe in those seconds, you could have killed Rosa. Yeah, that is definitely a factor that he will have to uh, figure out here. Got to make something happen, though. Oh, that's something. <laughs> oh, splitting him up there. <laughs> that, right, wow, got, that's nice stuff. <laughs> you guys need to stay away from each other. And the thing that I really like about that way of killing Luma is Luma was so high that there were already like four or five seconds wasted on just Luma falling to the bottom of the screen. Uh -huh. So that's on top of the 13 seconds respawn timer. Wow, a really good uh, shield pressure here. Okay, DeBuzz just maintaining control. Right there, just that lead trap, being able to cover so many options on reaction. Okay, so again, Rydia is trying to get some damage on Luma here. But now he's at center stage, uh, so DeBuzz is going to have to force a way in. Well, DeBuzz doesn't actually need to, right? Because he does still have the stock lead. True, yeah, the onus is on Rydia here to make something happen. And something happened. <laughs> oh, <again>. yeah. <laughs> Yo, Pikachu used headbutt, and it was super effective there. Critical hit, no recoil done to Pikachu. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, I mean, we've seen it before. Pikachu does have some explosive combo opportunities, so if we can just get that one clutch grab or maybe like a fast fall forward air. Or, you know, just the right edge guarding sequence can put all of this back to even. Oh! oh that wow. was so nicely done because DeBuzz is already facing the right way to punish that, yeah. too. That was some premeditated punishing happening there. Yeah, De DeBuzz, what we're seeing a lot is uh, DeBuzz is putting himself in positions where he, he's just ready for the most optimal punish at all times, even without Luma there, just being ready with that up smash to take out Pikachu. Um, I'm wondering what Rydia has to do here. It, it's just that whole thing was just kind of a slow, slow decline there. It wasn't any one moment. It's just DeBuzz looks like a little bit like he has Rydia's number right now. Yeah, just it was a slow grind of just outvaluing, out-optimization of 
the awareness of the matchup to such an intricate degree. Because like this is a matchup that we were talking about earlier. Jabos has to have on lock for when he runs into Esam, right? Yeah. And he did he did beat Esam uh, when they last met at CO Dreamland, I believe. Uh, so this is something that he is comfortable with, even though it is considered one of her less good matchups, I'll uh -huh. say. Okay, so just seeing some interesting movement to start off. We're going to be on Smashville. Um, I'm wondering, so this has to be Rydia's counter pick. I'm wondering why. Maybe uh, perhaps liking to retreat to the platforms to camp with some Thunder Jolts. Although, um, you know, Rosa does have options around those projectiles. Yeah, and the thing about the platform against Rosa is it occasionally saves Luma when you try to knock it off the main stage. Yeah. And that's a pretty risky factor. That being said, I think maybe Rydia is looking for... Um, shorter side blast zones in picking this stage. Perhaps to kill uh, Debuzz a bit sooner, because last time Debuzz finally died to dash attack at like 150%, which has Rose as like the fifth lightest character in the game. That's, <laughs> that's living too long. Oh yeah. That's some big percentage right there. Okay, able to combo Luma off, but again, Debuzz was just waiting for that quick attack approach. Okay, light up air and up air. And again, just ready to go with the immediate punish, the buzz grabbing that down air. And keeping again this ledge control. Oh, nice. Makes it back to stage with that side B snap. Radia now has center stage. But again, finding the right moment to extend against the buzz's defense, it's, it's so intimidating. Especially on top of how ready DeBuzz has seemed in the previous game entirely. It kind of makes you second guess all of your approach choices. Yeah, especially being a light character like Pikachu, you really just don't want to catch an up smash to the face. <laughs> oh my. How do goodness. you keep calling <laughs> this, Mask? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I did. I'm sorry, Rydia. Every, every time you say, like, Rydia needs to make something happen, and then he makes something happen, or <laughs> he's going to catch an up smash, and he catches an up smash. No, oh, man. These are. Don't don't let them know that these are pre-recorded <laughs> matches. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> uh, all right, so Rydia, um, almost about to get lapped in percent here. Or sorry, almost about to lap the buzz in percent. Um, not looking so good. Really? All right. Oh, and like you were talking about, attempted to take out uh, Luma there, but <laughs> the platform with the save. Yeah, I personally just don't like Animal Crossing on fight for fighting Rosalina just because of, I mean, Town and City obviously being terrible to fight Rosa, but then the platform <laughs> yeah. saves are real on these levels. Yeah. When you thought you took care of it off stage and peekaboo, there's the, uh, the taxi to bring it back. Yeah. And plus it gives Rosa an additional recovery option, right? Because now she can mix up between going high for the platform or going to the ledge. Oh, oh, great! Yeah, appear to be untackable. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh, where are you going, Pikachu? Come back. <laughs> I, I love the run in place at the ledge. It's a little it's a little bit of, hey, I still got my mojo. I'm still feeling good about myself and the set. Yeah, honestly, if Rydia could just keep that confident. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> the buzz taking it 2-0 over Rydia. Um, with that F-Smash, getting a lot of mileage out of it, um, unfortunately, Rydia...